Good afternoon and welcome to the Entrepreneur's Live Show. I'm David Dolphin, your host, and today is going to be special. We've got a lady with us today that's going to blow your mind. She's going to share something with us that is not heard every day. This is absolutely, absolutely an honor and a pleasure to have this absolutely busy lady making time to be on the show. So we've got, and I'm going to try and pronounce it correctly, Lois Wagner, Wagner with us. <laughs> Sorry about that. And feel free, please welcome and share your story with us. Thanks very much, David. And you can pronounce my name any way you like. <laughs> so my story, well, I've been around, I've lived a long and eventful life. <laughs> so I have stories. Uh, but in terms of business, uh, I started my career in marketing. Uh, I've been in training and human resources. And I am now a coach. <laughs> I've been coaching for some years, but my story, it, it's, I've reinvented myself so many times over my life based on my life experiences. So those of you who are in business, I can share and empathize and understand your journeys. I've been retrenched. I've been overlooked for promotion. I've had my own business that went into liquidation and I went deep into debt and I was forced into retirement. <laughs> so in terms of business, I've had all the experiences that one can have. And then in terms of my personal life, oh, I've been married and divorced and I've had uh, physical ailments. I've been bedridden for six months. But the biggest thing is some years ago, I was attacked, raped and left for dead. Oh no. And so, <laughs> and so I think I've experienced everything that anybody can ever experience in life. So what I do, um, and you, you might say, why are you laughing and smiling <laughs> with all of that activity? I've created the acronym for myself, SMILE. I say SMILE with Lois. And what that is, what I do is I'm a speaker and a storyteller. The M is I mentor. The I is inspire, and I hope I can inspire you all. The L is I'm a learning facilitator, and I do immersion workshops and cafe style training. And the E is empowering using coaching. I'm a conversational oh, wow. intelligence so you can come and smile with me and all my work is based on my own personal experiences as I've said I've been around and I've experienced practically everything if I talk about leadership for example if I'm training leadership there's not one theory in leadership that I haven't somehow experienced either from my own experiences or from some leader or manager that has taught me something I've got real examples for every single thing out there so my stories are real oh man that's awesome you know one thing I picked up now and I like it is when you were starting and saying smile I'm like immediately like smile you need to smile people and I like what it stands for because it's it's different it, it's you know what you've gone through and all of a sudden you decide you're going to smile you know it's, it's like people asking me ah you've been sick and everything why do you smile I'm like I'm still alive <laughs> if you're alive smile you need to smile so I love it well done for that um it's absolutely beautiful and you say, uh, yes yes now I said I've got a I've created a little free ebook if anybody wants it it's uh, called Ignite Your Mojo and it's all about how to keep your passion and your spirit and your energy and your happiness up. I love it. What we're going to do is we get the link from you. We put it down here for our people and they need to download it. We will put it onto our app also because that is the kind of things that people need today. So my friend, that's awesome. Thank you for that. Now, I would love it if you can just share a little bit more about yourself. Um, obviously, you, you've given us a little bit of it, but just tell us a little bit more where you come from, where you're based. Um, also, then if you'd like to go into your business because your business is really fascinating to me and I love coaching. So 
please feel free to share whatever you want to share with us. Okay, well, I'll tell you the, the, the big story of my life that has led me to where I am now. And for those South African viewers, um, it will resonate a lot easier with the South Africans who are listening, but it should, uh, everybody should be able to relate. So back when we were moving from apartheid to democracy, that is when I was attacked and raped and left for oh my. And I was so angry. It was way before the Me Too movement and it was way before anybody ever spoke about this topic. You know, it was something that was in hushed tones, you know, you uh, sure. just didn't talk about it. And I was so angry because this shouldn't happen to good people like me. It shouldn't yes, happen to anybody, yes. but at the time, you know, why me? And I was so angry and I became an activist and I lobbied and I led marches through the streets of Cape Town and I got petitions going. And it, it was it, because it was a change of, of to democracy, they were busy uh, rewriting the constitution and they were looking for people to, to give submissions. So I was gonna change the law because the, the man who raped me was out on bail. And so I wanted to change the law. So I was out there doing what I could to change everything. And, uh, and yeah, the, the, the rapist was arrested and he was given 25 years. Anyway, I lost the passion. I went back. I, I was in my printing business at the time and I lost my passion for my business and my partner betrayed me and uh, he put the business into liquidation and I lost everything. So I had to go back into the corporate world. I uh, had to make a living. Yes. And then uh, some years later, I decided to leave South Africa and I went to the Middle East. And I was a trainer and coach uh, in the Middle East. And it was my first holiday home to South Africa. And it was 14 years after I was raped. And I decided to contact the authorities why I decided to do that. I had no idea and found out what had happened to this, this man. And it was so, un, it was unbelievable. They said to me that he was going for a parole hearing the day after I arrived in South Africa. It was oh just my. too much of a coincidence. Oh my. And, and the law had just changed uh, it had literally just changed, allowing what they call victims to attend parole hearings. And I was the first person in South Africa to attend one of these parole wow. hearings. So <laughs> I went to the prison with no real intention um, of what I was going to do or say, or was I going to support his parole or what, I don't know. <laughs> um, but somebody had said to me that I should forgive him. And I thought, what? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not going to forgive this man. But I did some research into what forgiveness was about. And I prepared a speech just in case, but never believing that I would forgive him. And I went into, it was Helderstrom Prison in the, in the Cape, and I went into the prison and I faced this man and I forgave him. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the most incredible thing was, as I was leaving, the authorities said to me that they would let me know in seven days if he got parole or not. And I looked at them and I said, no, you know, you won't tell me. I don't want to know whether he got parole or not. It was, it was the most amazing thing because what happens is when you don't forgive, you're bound to that person. You, Correct, you're yes. tied to that incident yes. or to that situation. And when you forgive, you're basically breaking that bond. You're breaking that tie to that person. And I didn't walk out of that prison. I literally flew out of that prison. Hence my my little, that's my logo. I love <laughs> it's it. About flying free um, because it, it freed me. It freed me from all the hatred and discomfort. And, and, and that is what led me to do what I do today. That's so, magnificent. That's your, wow. Um, you just pick. I'm not sure if I will be able to do that. Um, you know, yeah, I'm speechless. 
and it's, it's very difficult to get me speechless. So, wow, wow, absolutely wow. Now, I would really like to hear more about your business now because I could see where you're coming from and I can feel your heart and what you've gone through. I mean, what you've lost and what you had to go through, the pain and everything to get where you are today. Please share with us, what is your business about? Give us the name, give us all the details. Let's talk about it. I'm very interested to find out about us. Okay, well, officially I'm Lois Wagner Coaching, but I, I really do most of my work through my other platform, which is called Walking Without Skin. So Walking Without Skin is, is the story of my life, walking vulnerably and exposed and you know just sharing my yes. story. Uh, and so walking without skin is probably the more active side of what I do. So walking without skin, I've just written a book, by the way, it was just published this month awesome. uh, called, <laughs> called Walking Without Skin. And it, it's, it's a combination of my story and a self-help guide on how to find freedom. So what I do now, <laughs> as I used to do corporate coaching. Uh, and I still do it from time to time, but my emphasis now is on personal transformation coaching. And it's based on my model that I've created, moving somebody yes. from victim. So, and, and victim is anything. It can be from a business adversity. It can be from an accident. It can be from the death of a loved one. It can be an attack, a robbery, anything you become a victim. So my model is taking people from victim through to survivor, to thriver, through to freedom. So I coach around those principles. And uh, to do that, you need to learn resilience, grit, a growth mindset, and ultimately forgiveness. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yo, that's deep, that's deep. And you know what, I, I really think that's something that um, I would say most of the world needs right now, um, because if you put on your TV, if you listen to radio, if you look on the internet, if you look on Facebook, it's hate, 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 and hate. And what you're basically doing is telling people, listen, it's okay what happened to you. It's time to move on. It's time to set yourself free. And that's, that's important because if you do not set yourself free, you, you, you cannot go forward. There's always going to be shackles keeping you down. There's always going to be something pulling you back in. So, wow. Absolutely wow. And obviously you said you've got, you just written a book. Um, is it published already? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Where can we find it? Well, it's Walking Without Skin. <laughs> okay. And so you can get it on Amazon or if you go to my webpage, you can find it there. So, yeah. That is awesome. You, know, that's, you can't forget it. <laughs> that's awesome. So what we're going to do is also, we're going to take that link. We're going to put it in here, put it in the comments, and we're going to put it out on our social media, Walking Without Skin, and you can find it on our website. Go and get it because I've got a feeling this is going to be something that's going to be well worth reading and your time, and it will help you. That's the biggest thing it needs, to, or you need to set yourself free. To go forward that that's truly amazing my friend and if people would like to contact you where can i contact you where can i find you on social media what's your website address anything like that please feel free now to share whatever contact details you feel comfortable with sharing what we do is walking and put it in <laughs> walking without skin facebook um my web page you 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 won't miss me <laughs> Okay, awesome. And is that the website? Is it walkingwithoutskin.0.0 or .com? Uh, dot .com. Excellent. So if you just Excellent. Google walking without skin, it'll come up. Excellent. What we'll do is then we're going to take those details and we're going to put everything on it for you. And we're going to ensure that people get hold of you and they can see you and find you and read you and just connect with you. Guys, this is important because this is a step in your life, in your professional life that you really need. And um, you, you cannot move forward if you do not set yourself free. And I like the name, Walking Without Skin. Um, 
I don't think I'm going to look too good walking with our skin, but hey, it's going to be awesome. I, know I will definitely look at a book because we love reading myself. My wife is extremely crazy about it. She reads, I listen, um, but this is something that I really think it's worth it. And it's amazing. Lu um, Lewis, is there anything that you would like to share with us that can encourage people and uplift them? Because I feel you've got a message that's strong and you've got something to share with us that's going to really help the people out there. Well, the project that I'm working on at the moment, and it links in nicely at the moment, uh, you know, on the 25th of November starts the 16 days of activism, yes. which is anti-violence to women. And I've created another acronym and it's called Be Brave. And I want to teach boys and men and girls and women to be brave. So rather than stopping people or teaching them, to, women to protect themselves from violence or to teach men not to rape, I rather turn it into a positive story and say, let's teach men to be brave. And so brave is teach them about boundaries, respect, agreement, values and vulnerability, equality, empathy, and empowerment. And oh, wow. it's, it's a project that I would like to take into schools um, in the new year. And it's something that I really would love to hold masterminds and co group coaching sessions on how we can get men to, to fight this toxic masculinity that is so negative in our lives. I love so it. So guys, I say two things, forgive and be brave. I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely well done for that. And we want to thank you for being on our show. It's been sure, it's been mind blowing. Um, your story is really deep. It's it's really something that I can see that hurt you, but you found a way to get, get over it and move forward. And it's something that everybody should listen to and see. Um, it's a privilege to have met you and a privilege to have interviewed you. And we're just looking yeah. forward to seeing your success in what you do and helping the people that you are helping. So it's absolutely thumbs up for you. That's magnificent. And I can just say thank you. Thank you, David, for giving us this platform, for sharing our stories. Oh, man, it's a pleasure. And again, listeners, you need to go and connect with her. This is something that you cannot miss. Details will be in the comments. It will be on the video. Just connect with her. You have to. It's one of those things you have to. And then we'll be back tomorrow with another great interview. And we thank you again for being on the show. And guys, just go for it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> thank you for being with us on the show. And we'll see you all tomorrow again. Thank you. Bye.